Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be opening up and taking a look at these new Stretch Armstrong figures. So Stretch Armstrong's had a bit of a resurgence lately, and there's been some reissues of the vintage style Stretch, like what you see here, and of course there's a brand new Stretch Armstrong toy line and Netflix series, and these really kind of caught my attention, because these are smaller, I mean you can see my hands in here, these are smaller in like the 6 or 7 inch scale, and they're covering like all eras of Stretch Armstrong. I thought that was really cool. So Stretch here is modeled after the, after the original 1960s version of Stretch. And the guys sitting next to him here, like Stretch Monster and X-Ray, well, those are villains from that original Stretch Armstrong line. But also over here is Vac-Man. And this was the villain in the 90s version of Stretch Armstrong. So I thought it was really interesting that they've got like all these different versions of Stretch Armstrong and the various creatures all done in this new six inch style. And when you flip it around to the backside, uh, also worth noting is that the Stretch Octopus and the Stretch Dog are also available, which I think that's Fetch, Fetch Armstrong. And you can see it comes in different colors, so does the Octopus. So I didn't pick those up, but those are also in the same uh, scale here. And these are made by Character Options. So that's worth noting that I believe that these are only being released in stores over in the UK. I actually picked these up, up on Amazon, and when I grabbed them, they were about $20 a piece on Amazon. Amazon, but I've seen the prices kind of fluctuating. So uh, if you're in the US and you're wanting to track these down, Amazon or maybe eBay might be your best bet. But I want to go ahead and I want to get these ripped open because I'm really anxious to like open these up and play with them and take a look at them, especially Vacman here because I never actually had the 90s Vacman. So I'm excited to play with his action feature. You can see he's got that crackling action feature. The rest of these guys are all just the stretchy versions here, um, like the classics. But you know, Stretch Monster, of course, that's the original stretch armstrong villain and x-ray is another really really cool one because you can see through him you can see his guts on the inside so let's go and rip these guys open and play around with them and get a better look at them all right we got our assortment of stretch figures all opened up obviously these dudes can't stand on their own so i'm pretty much gonna have to just lay them around and hold on to them to show you guys these in the video but let's take a look at them here and let's start with stretch if we want to look at the measurements here, I mentioned that I thought they were around the 7 inch scale and that's pretty much exact. You can see, it looks like Stretch here stands at about 6.5 inches tall and this is going to vary among some of the figures here. Uh, you know, we got X-Ray here, he's about the same, his head's a little bit taller. Uh, Stretch Monster, same thing, he's a little bit closer to a full 7 inches. The biggest difference though is Vac-Man, he is quite a bit taller. In fact, I look, I got to boost my camera up a little bit here. Uh, just so you can see, he comes in at a full 8 inches tall. And I think that's because of his action feature that makes him a little bit different. You can see how he towers over the rest of these guys though. Uh, but the figures themselves are very, very nice. They are exactly what you would expect out of a Stretch Armstrong figure. So this is styled, like I mentioned earlier, after the 60s version of Stretch Armstrong. Love the uh, all these crazy abs and everything Everything that are worked into the sculpt there otherwise he's just wearing little blue trunks and nothing else it is very soft and very very squishy um, unlike the more um, larger size one that was released at Target stores if any of you pick those up, uh, the one that was released by Jack's Pacific, it was a lot harder. It didn't feel as soft and squishy. This feels softer and a lot like I remember my 90s version of Stretch Armstrong feeling when I had that. So as far as the stretchiness goes, this dude has got some serious stretchability. I mean, look at the way I am stretching this dude about. You can stretch him long ways. You can stretch him horizontally. You can kind of mush him and squish him around there. Um, of course, you've got the ability to like wrap the dude up. You know, you can do the kind of thing where like, hey, a cannonball, or just wrap him into a ball there. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, dude, this guy really, really stretches around. And of course, always returns back to his normal form, which was always the play gimmick for Stretch Armstrong. So, feels really great. The stretchiness is perfect on this guy. And that definitely feels exactly the same amongst the three standard ones here. X-Ray is extra awesome because you can see all of his guts on the inside. And look, those even like stretch around with his body, which is awesome. They're made of the same kind of material there. So look at that. Stretch him out, his intestines stretch with it. You got his lungs, his heart in there. Oh, this guy is just very cool looking. He is easily my favorite of the bunch. 
I really, really like him. And then you got that classic Stretch Monster there as well, which he feels just like Stretch Armstrong. You know, great pliability, great stretchiness. These dudes can really, really get some great stretching on them. I've said the word stretch a million times now, but you guys get the idea. These work out really, really well. But that's going to bring us to Vac Man because he is a bit different than the rest of the guys here. He's a villain that stands out on his own because if any of you had this guy in the 90s, he's got this crazy ability where like you can suck the air out of him and it makes him kind of hard and crunchy and he holds his shape. Um, so this guy isn't made of the same gooey stuff that the rest of these guys are. So these are kind of soft and, uh, you know, you can see, like, the slowly my way my thumb kind of sinks into him there because of the gooiness. This guy feels crunchy inside. So he's still very soft, but you can see he doesn't stretch the same way. He's, uh, you know, he's more elastic. He snaps back to place instead of slowly returning. And this all plays into his action feature. So the way they work the action feature into this guy is all in the head. So if we pump his head, you can see I can lift his head up and it basically turns it into a pump. Pumping the head up repeatedly removes the air from the figure. So I'm going to do this. You can see how he's tightening up. The skin's already tightening up there. So we're going to do this several times. And look at this. Now, he's like this crunchy, hard figure. There's no air. And look, we can like stretch him around. And he pretty much retains the shape. Not completely. Like the legs will still snap back a little bit there. But look at the way I've like flattened them out. I made them really weird looking. Look at that. That is crazy. So you suck all the air out of them. You can do this crazy stuff. And then there's a little button on the top of his head. And by holding that button down, it should bring all the air back. And it will, oh, we got to push the head all the way down. There we go. And you push that button on top. And look at that. He just sucks right back to normal. And now all the air is back in. So, you know, he's kind of more flexible again. So, yeah, just pumping the head will bring all the air out. It's a really fun feature. I never actually had Vacman in the 90s. I think there was an extra pump that you would have to use that plugged into his head, but it did this exact same kind of thing. It's really, really weird. And then pushing that button just brings him right back to normal. Honestly, I love these. I think these are a lot of fun. Uh, Stretch Armstrong is such a classic toy, and it's cool seeing him get, like, new life, and I love that they're not just doing Stretch, but doing all of his various villains from over the years. You know, getting X-Ray and Stretch Monster from the 60s is pretty sweet, um, but getting Vac Man from the 90s is even sweeter, and even though he's bigger than the rest, I'm still glad that we've got him in the assortment. I would love to see them do, like, a 90s version of Stretch also. That was the one that was wearing, like, the black cutoff shirt and had the big cheesy smile on his face it'd be really cool just to add that to the bunch but these are pretty fun so if you are a fan of stretch armstrong or looking to pick one of these up for the first time or maybe just a classic fan that wants something new for the line uh, like i said i believe these were only released over in the uk but i found mine on amazon they were fluctuating in price i was able to nab them at about 20 a piece which does seem a little high um, but definitely keep checking there or maybe ebay if you want to add them to your collection Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment and let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.